Hubbity welcome back to Manor and Brass episode 49 with me Sid and uh, we're starting off again today in the vicinity of the Blood Altar and the reason is we are going to upgrade the Blood Altar and I also need to F7 I need to make sure that I've not introduced any dark spots, which I don't think I have. So these are half forge blocks, which we've got quite a lot of this from uh, from our forays into the demon realm. And we need four of those in the corners because that's what goes there. And then we need 52. I've got one blank rune, which is beastie there. Um, and I need... 51 more Fifty-one more of those. Uh, those are going to be used to make more of those. The recipe for those is some stone of some description or another. Andesite, diorite, granite, doesn't matter. Master blood orb or a blood orb of one type or another so we can go with that one i suppose we can grab uh, i should have deep slate actually the smooth variety shouldn't i so one two three do i really know tell you what granite i rarely use it two three Four, five, six, and seven. I don't even know why I'm doing this. That I keep on forgetting that I can do this. And there's our 52, because it's 13, which is 26. That's 52. So that's all good. Oops, let's go and put you away. And then... We're going to rip these up. Little placeholder blocks. I'm not going to do a great deal with the fact I have a tier 5 blood altar. I I just want a tier 5 blood altar and as you can tell I'm not even I'm not even bothering putting any fancy runes in just ordinary runes. Plain, bog standard, ordinary roots. And that should give me a tier 5 altar. Which, if I. Huh. No. Maybe magic, perhaps? No. I really need to learn to look after my stuff, don't I? Uh, hmm, no. Definitely not. There's got to be... Got to be around here somewhere. There we go. Divination signal. Sigil. Signal. Oh, uh, yeah. There's that lot up there as well, isn't it? Let me just tidy. Tier 4. The current capacity is 50,000. Now we need 80,000 to achieve that. That's a speed rune. They're runes of capacity. That's rune of sacrifice. So capacity runes. I mean, augmented capacity would be better. Because that but capacity is bookish. Now let me just, okay. Let's just check this out while I just quickly divest myself of that garbage. And that as well, to be honest. Right. Mm. Blood runes. So a capacity rune gives 20% per rune. Augmented capacity... 
gives an additional seven point and a multi multiplicative. Oh. Uh, reinforced. If you change your mind. I don't think I've got any of those, so that is not an issue anyway. So, demonic slates and upgrade those, perhaps. It should be relatively straightforward, shouldn't it? How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 20 demonic slates it is I've got those let's just start over I think do those to demonic and I think my muffler may be broken Or not. Oh, well, maybe. Right. So, that's... That's a slate. Damn it. That is a reinforced slate, so we need to take it to the next level. Imbued. So the next, the next level is demonic. Okay, twenty of those to go. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we've we've got a slight issue. Um, don't have a huge amount of obsidian. Um, however, I know exactly where I can get a huge amount of obsidian. Uh, I should probably, I don't want that on, but I do rather want that on. The end is brilliant for getting obsidian. <laughs> Even the vanilla end. Um, I mean, this end is probably even slightly better because there is a, a whole load of other structures out there. But uh, let's not be greedy, we'll just have a pillar or two. Whether I can. Just go. Certainly solving a problem, isn't it? I must be below the island now. Must be. One thing that struck me as odd, actually, is the low. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that will be below the island. Let's get home because that that quite frankly that scares me. Uh, and you know what? I need to clean this up. I can't sit there and look at that. I sometimes wonder whether I should, shouldn't get rid of the bones, but, you know, yeah. 
What are you going to do? Oh, God. Really? That's going to be a thing, is it? Okay. Fine, fine, fine. That should... That's got blood in it, and that's all good. So what we need to do next is... Again, just double-check that. And I need... I basically need my blood orb, and... Well, nowhere near that much obsidian. Let's have a look. Got carried away a little bit, perhaps. So... I think that's right, isn't it? Uses... is in fours. Like a so. So that will go like a so. We'll go that... And then what we need to do is destroy everything. Okay, that was probably not the wisest thing to do. And that's... Come here. I'm fairly certain we did that. Nope. And that. And then... Thankfully, I don't think I got any of the actual ritual stones. Otherwise, that could have been really embarrassing. And... We need that. And that should be... Any of the oh buckets? Uh, make me more buckets. Two lots of sixteen and another lot of eight. Right, so. That, with that, 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 and that, will give me that many of those. We can close you down. Right, does this get us close to 80,000? I don't know. Is the long and short. It may do. It may not. In which case I'll have to make some other rooms. Whoa, that definitely emptied it. Current capacity. That did not seem worth it. That really did not seem worth it. Okay, let's do... Just straight capacity rooms, I think. We take a blank room and imbued slates. One, two, three. Let's do just 13 to a side, isn't this? So if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 24. Why 24? Why not? You know, there's, there is no particularly good reason. Uh, and those use imbued, which is the next tier, so that will do us, won't it? Uh, definitely need you gone again. That can come out. Uh, 
and I'm cooking slates again. So I'll see you in a moment. All right, now. <laughs> now we have the fun one. So we are making no capacity rooms, which are going to use all of those and a whole load of bookies I made earlier. Lovely. So the the current capacity. This is currently a tier five altar, of course, but the current capacity is 42,478. Let's bring this up to... Each one of those is 20%. Is this even going to be close? Or do I need more? I mean, I can make this not a problem. It's just the pain of, of making all of the things. I think I think that'll do it <laughs> so we need 80,000 um, to put this into the system I do need to take that back out of my inventory uh, and that is growing quite reasonably rapidly as well as all the stuff and just might as well take you out because then you'll grow slightly faster won't you I mean not significantly but slightly that is a serious amount of increase just by putting I should have just gone with straightforward capacity rooms although it is a multiple I don't know what that means. Well, that is a long story. But let's get that going. That will uh, that will eat up a whole load of blood. Because that's what blood alters do. And Archmage's Blood Orb, Bish Bash Bosh, job is, as they say, a good one. And we can put you in there. I'm going to put that in there, actually, the sigil, because it's actually probably more useful there than it will ever be anywhere else. And we shall fire that away. Get the magic and pop you away. Where do you think you're going? And uh, I actually probably should have kept hold of that, shouldn't I? So we're filling up on essence our I'm not sure what our current maximum essence is to be honest. But it's a lot, I think. The What does that do? Is there an augment? I thought. Hang on. I thought there was supposed to be. Hmm. I thought there was supposed to be a thing with a thing and a thing, but realistically, we can turn all of this off for now. I think we are good for a while. And we'll pop you away. We'll ditch all of that. 
and we shall reset myself back to standard working practice and then we are going to head out uh, let's head to Port Valentine so we have the island and we are we're happy with this oh well I'm happy with this I don't know whether you're happy with it but realistically that doesn't matter I am <laughs> and, and over here we've or I have expanded my plan to put a big harbour section in around here somewhere and the bit that I want to put in there because I can't fit one into the lagoon area because it makes no sense the entrance is too it's too big too well too small is is this wee beastie so we want to capture this we want to borrow it but I also do want to reef the sails on it because it it to me does not make sense to be able to have this with its sails open ready to go so that's relatively straightforward to do um, and my thoughts are that we'll we'll reef the sails first and then copy the ship borrow the ship and and reconstruct it near oh, I didn't know that was there okay I mean I'm not bothered about it it's only diamonds after all And realistically, diamonds in Minecraft are a function of time. Uh, as I pointed out, many things in Minecraft are purely a function of time. They are never a function of effort or skill. Just time. Uh, now, my thoughts here are to... do something along those lines so they look a bit droopy and then we can do something similar up here I'm not worried about the uh, the illager face that doesn't really come into it all we're going to do is strip out this sail and then we'll do something similar with that and we'll reef that one as well uh, I think it's called reefing the sail yeah I'm trying I'm trying on the stuff but anyway let me do that and I shall be right back with you all right and with that we have the sails furled um, some of the rigging might not make sense quite so much I've also marked in the edges of the the box this is going to be a big 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 old schematic a big 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 old schematic um and i think if i do that we should see that there's everything is in there everything's in there uh yeah that should be everything uh, I'll get rid of that and the block over there because I don't really want those in the schematic not that it matters because we've still got to capture this this is going to take a while in itself um, no we'll call it the galley Ga galleon actually that would be more appropriate. I don't know whether that's the correct thing for the thing, but I also don't care. 
Right, let me have a look at crates. I would like a, an obsidian crate. I don't know if that's empty. Let's check it. It's not. Oh, hello. However, we have got a spare one of those. And we've got a whole load of stuff that I can take out and just stash. I don't even know if, if this obsidian crate will be enough for storing everything that we pick up from this space. Um, but it's not a problem. I have additional crates and it's going to take a while to put this in. But I think as a, an entrance to Port Valentine, I think this will be somewhat, uh, well, huge, let's be honest. So, armed with this, let's start off the top and I am going to strip this building from the ground down, basically from the top down. I'm going to take every block and they are going to go in this box where we will lovingly recreate them. At the other side be back in well for you a few seconds but it might take me a little while longer all right it fit into two boxes <laughs> oh man this thing was huge uh, I, I genuinely was like really that big uh, uh it's the galleon mbt uh, look that's how big it is other ones like done this this is how long it is taking for this thing to load this well thing uh for want of a better phrase however we also just need to decide how i'm going to do it because i don't know whether hmm I don't know whether I want to do it facing in like that or whether it would be off of a pier which has then got like a cross section out or at the end of the pier. Um, I'm not sure how best to do this. It is quite a large schematic. Uh, so we need to start off by bringing you up until is it that height or do I want to take you one further it was six underwater that's how many blocks were on the so that is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's correct. Right, so how do we dock this? Let's uh, let's rotate it. You see, that was one thought and it kind of with it sideways on against a pier in this area. Which could work. The other thought was docked like that against a pier. Not obviously in the land, but... Uh, what do we think? I do think docked like that and coming out this way a wee bit quite a lot actually but further than that because we're still in the actual thing but we also need to be that way quite a few blocks anyway so let's bring you right out further I think how does that feel Certainly far enough that way. Uh, 
And then that could become just the dark side, couldn't it? Uh, maybe just a little more that way. And maybe if that with that, maybe a little more that way. How how do we feel about that as a positioning? I actually don't feel bad about that. We could even I think sneak another tower in here because I want to actually put a wall that goes round so the towers would work. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's You know what it's a difficult thing to undo, but let's go with that. I suspect, however, I may need a fair bit of gunpowder. <laughs> Just call me cynical. I also suspect that I am going to need a fair bit of time. Now, while we're doing that, then, let me just have a look. I want to have a look. These are the cannon on there that are built into it. Uh, and they're okay for a vanilla build. I just don't think they're right for a build where we may have modded options. We may not, of course. So I don't have anything like girders or... Metal girder, I mean, but it won't look right, will it? Um, I don't think there are any round barrels. My previous season, this would have been easy, but um, not necessarily. I don't think there's anything within the iron. No, I don't even think using an iron cogwheel on its side would really work. That's a shame. It's a shame there isn't something which would fit. An iron pillar. Oh, interesting. I mean, that... Hang on a second. Iron pillar is made from iron slabs. Iron slabs are made from iron plates. Iron plates are made from those. So we're going to take those. No. And make myself some of those. And those are going to make some of those. Uh, and let me just... That might work. It's a possibility because it kind of looks cannony in shape. I mean, the thing is, I could use this, but I can't position the cannon. Which is a shame. Because if I could, then that would be absolutely perfect. However, this is going to take probably longer than it took me to demolish the thing. So, I think again, we are uh, going to be back in a short while. All right, that took a long time. It's the following night. Um, no, it didn't actually take all day. Uh, it did take until gone midnight of a record, uh, the night of recording, and uh, I've gone around and added the the lights to the uh, to the structures there. A few bits and pieces missing, you know, um, perhaps. But you know, this is this is lit. It's it's got all of the various bits in it and it's more or less there now the one thing i am not happy with well several things i'm not happy with but the one thing i am not happy with are these well cannons and the fact that i appear to have a whole load of garbage in my inventory um so we shall just drop off the stuff we don't want that, 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 that and that. Definitely don't want any of those. All that, all that, all that, all that. Right, that'll do. Alright, so. 
These cannons are weak and wishy-washy and dull. Um, so, as are... I don't know whether they're supposed to be cannonballs or gunpowder. But... What I would like to do is I would like to place, if I may, this the right way around. And then we're going to take this iron pillar, which is made of these, just things, because it's A, iron, and B, it's a pillar, which means if I arrange it on its side, it will look like that. Um, now this is supposed to be a cannon on wheels, so we shall give it some little wheels. And it's also a cannon, so we'll give it a fuse. And of course, as a cannon, it will need gunpowder. Maybe it will also need cannonballs, and that's the one thing I haven't figured out yet. Um, the best way to do cannonballs, but... I think that looks better than that. And there's one, two, three, four on this side. And one, two, three, four, five on that side, giving me a total of ten cannons. So we can replace those and make this look a little bit more cannony. Um, now I'm just wondering what, if anything, we've got that would look like a cannonball. Because I can't think of anything. Uh, pebbles or rocks, if we had like a, a rock thing. But I don't think we do have <coughs> anything that actually looks like a pile of rocks or anything like that. I think everything is going to be very square and very Minecraft and I cannot for the life of me think of a single thing that may may work. So you know what, it doesn't matter, we'll live. Um, however, we or should sleep the night away and uh, talk about my plans now I'm not going to keep going much longer on this episode it is <coughs> it has been a long episode anyway um, but I do want to line up a tower here think about here-ish and bring one up and get another tower on that end and then we'll bring a small dock area out here um, stands this will come up over into here which will give us you know a number of places for some more structures road path down here because we're going down here then we'll come up with a way of putting a wall that skirts around the outside maybe as far as here and then kind of comes around and skirts in over here so this just becomes like a walled enclave bit of the town um but yeah i am I am reasonably, reasonably, reasonably happy with that. Let's just make a whole bunch of those because I am going to need quite a few. Uh, I need nine. That should be more than enough. Uh, I've got enough of those. We've got that. So I think the only thing we're missing is levers. So I'm going to need nine levers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the stairs, and I can't remember which stair did I use. I think it was polished blackstone. Uh, mm So I think that will work. Um, uh, hmm, maybe we should put that back where it belongs. I think it just gives a certain 
that's not that, not that. About where it belongs. Uh, we can pop in this. That can't go there. But it can go there. We don't have to have that much, all of that as gunpowder, do we? So we can pop you there, there, and there. Then we can jump over and just pop those in, and then do the ones from the inside. And uh, I think, yeah, I do think that looks slightly better as a cannon. I mean, it's not perfect. The only way you would do perfect is if we could somehow position that cannon to actually have the correct things. I, I suppose I could have done uh, wooden wheels. I'm not sure which looks better, to be honest. But, um, you know, that, that works, I, see, I feel. And then we've just got these ones in here. And we'll take you out as well. Oh, and there's those ones up there as well. That's fine. So, and like so, and then it's one. Oh, that's not going to work very well, is it? Hmm. Now, ways around everything. We'll deal with those in a moment. Uh, there. There and there. Uh, what am I doing? Those. That's right. Uh, hello. And we just drop in and go one, two. One, two. Definitely look better as a cannon. I mean, that actually looks like a cannon barrel poking out slightly. It's a shame. I don't think we can do, yeah, we can't do anything fancy like get a half one of those, a vertical slab or anything. Because it'd be, it'd look quite good if they stuck out a little bit, but they don't, so. And as I say, there's no, there's no saw or half slabs or micro blocks in this, so we don't have that luxury. But it doesn't matter. We can, we work with... We work with what we got. Uh, what we got is this. Boop, 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 and boop. And then boop, no, that's the wrong way around. Boop, 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 boop. Oh no, okay. I was expecting to have to flick one of those, but uh, I didn't, so bonus. Boop and um, boop. And then it's just really a matter of throwing down the odd piece of gunpowder here and there. Uh, yeah, I'll stick another one there as well. Uh, in fact, we'll do, perhaps even do that. Not sure you would want your gunpowder that close to a detonating cannon, but, you know. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, who am I to judge? Okay. Who, indeed, am I to judge? There we go, put that in there. Lovely. So the last thing I think we need is, you are spruce. Spruce. Uh, spruce stairs and just to make that kind of work we'll do that so there's some kind of structure in the the shape here so armed with all of that I think we are in a position to certainly have a look from here so how do we want to do this? I think we'll take it from this angle. And 
will get a screenshot. So that's where we are. Um, next episode, we're going to build up the external dock and some of the buildings around here. So, yeah, and uh, I'll be back in a till then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.